Hello, and welcome to another episode of Build Mathing with Kale. Today, we're going to be build mathing the perfect five-sided pyramid, Frontiers Edition. I will not be explaining how the glitches work in this, but if you need help with them, feel free to check out Beeblebum's tutorial linked in the description first. Before we begin, you may want to set up a palette of parts to duplicate from. You will need an adornment queue, a small wall, a triangle floor, and a regular floor. You will also need a flat wire that has one end where you want the edge of your pyramid to be. Start by glitching a cube to the end of the wire where your pyramid's edge will be. Then place another cube behind it and go up two more. On what would be the fourth cube from the bottom, reverse wire glitch and pull it back down to the initial connector. Delete the bottom cube corner, reverse wire glitch and pull it up to the top. This will get you a vertical wire that is straight. Glitch a cube to the top of the wire. Go down to two more and to the side one, reverse wire glitching and pulling it up to the top. But instead of connecting it, glitching the cube. Now you can delete these. Go down two and to the center one and reverse wire glitch and pull the wire to the initial connector. Now you can delete your cubes from the vertical wire. Now grab the small wall and glitch it to the bottom of the sloped wire. Grab a floor, regular, not triangular, and place it below the small wall. Now grab a triangular floor and place it above. You will now place additional triangle floors to match the size that you want your pyramid to be. In this example, I'm going to be doing a three floor to a side triangle. Once again, grab your small wall and reverse wire glitch from anywhere along the side of your triangle to the wire connector that is inside of it. The next step is going to change depending on how big you want your pyramid to be. But the general idea is that you want to be able to pull a wire to the connector that you just did on the edge such that the wire is perpendicular to the edge like I just did here. Grab your cube and glitch to the connector on the edge. Go out two more cubes and one to the side. Reverse wire glitching and pulling it back to the edge and glitching in the cube. Delete the straight cubes. Go another two out and one to the side. Opposite direction so that you're going to the center. And then another two down, reverse wire glitch and pull it up to the connector on the edge. Grab your small wall again and glitch it to the edge of the wire, making sure you're going parallel to the wire as compared to the one that is parallel to the other floor. Repeat the process with the square floor and the triangle, again making this larger triangle the same size as you want your pyramid. Now that you know how to set the angle between the sides of your pyramid, you'll need to repeat this process three more times to complete your pyramid. We'll fast forward through the rest of this so that you can get a review of what to do.
we'll slow things down again for the last side. I can go back and delete any remaining scaffolding, including the wires. Next, to put a floor in your pyramid, go to the small wall and reverse wire glitch from one of your edges and pull it back to your flat wire. Reverse wire glitch again, select the wire that is on the edge and glitch in a small wall. Now just shift things over a bit so that it's centered on your floor. There's a variety of ways you can do it. I'll show a couple here. But this is going to be how you, in general, put your floor in. I'll speed through the rest of it so you can see the process. So let's go check it out. From the outside you can see there's no overlap, and from the inside you can see there are no gaps. So you may be asking, Kale, why is this a perfect pyramid? 
it's a perfect pyramid because it is mathematically perfect to within the absolute limits of the game. And if we want to check it, we'll just extend it down, which I will cut to the end because it takes a while. So here we are, 60 floors later. Yes, 60. And as you can see, there's no discernible change in the edge. And take note, this is the edge that is between the first and last floors that we did. So we did our angle a total of four times between them, and nothing has changed. This has been Kale with Build Mathing the Perfect Five-Sided Pyramid, Frontiers Edition. As usual, I look forward to seeing what you build with it. There are a variety of ways to make this perfect pyramid, keeping the same geometry. This method using the cube is my preferred method. There's another method that Enver Silver has a tutorial on using light floors. If you're interested, please go check that out. Just follow the link in the description.